Hey beautiful, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, it's your girl Farida, also known as Curly Proverbs. And around here it's no kinks, no curls and no coils left behind. If you're about that natural hair care, that hair growth game strong, beast mode hair growth, this is definitely the spot for you. Today we're gonna to be talking about MSM, which believe it or not, it is a massive game changer. For me, it has resulted in pretty much miraculous hair growth, no lie. I'm gonna insert some evidence right here, literally. Um, it, it gives me crazy, crazy hair growth. And today we're gonna be talking about three different ways that you can actually include it into your, your hair regimen um, and differing in intensity and differing in effort. So you're gonna get results whichever way you use it, but, the intensity levels, I'm gonna show you how to take it all the way up. Um, and if you're coming in at entry level, I've got something for you too. Remember that these regimens are actually available on the website for absolutely free. I'm gonna have them linked below. So you can check that out um, if you actually want to be and um, seeing when you should do what and how you should increase dosing, etc., etc. So let's first off start with uh, a disclaimer. You do not want to be using using MSM if you're pregnant, you do not want to be using it if you are breastfeeding, you do want, not want to be using it if you're on medication without checking with your doctor, um, and um, if you are allergic to sulfur, this is not the one for you. You can just go with using collagen instead. So with all of that said, as our disclaimer, let's get into the video. Now, my history with MSM goes way back. I'm talking eight years back. And I remember when I first started applying it topically and um, taking it internally, I actually saw half an inch of growth in a week. It was absolutely phenomenal. It blew my mind. It was undeniable. It was empirical. It was measurable. And I was absolutely blown away that more people didn't know about it at the time. Um, is very well known for taking care of ailments to do with joints, muscle recovery, and even helping with things such as fibromyalgia um, and just general inflammation in the body. But what it also does is it provides the body with a source of sulfur. What's sulfur used for? Well, sulfur is essentially in key proteins in the body, including enzymes that break down the nutrition that comes into your body and help to synthesize new components of the body including your hair and your nails, okay? And the other thing is that sulfur is a key component of keratin. Keratin contains sulfur to sulfur disulfide bonds, okay? In order for that to form, you need sulfur. And the more abundant the sulfur is, the more hair your body can synthesize. A lot of the time we're actually deficient in um, nutrients, including sulfur, and we don't realize that we're not reaching our maximum potential because, well, it's never really been introduced into our system. Yes, of course, genetics do play a role. Yes, of course, you do have natural base growth rates but you don't really know what your max growth rate is generally speaking unless you have really heightened your nutrition and unless you're taking very tailored and specific supplementation um so that is what we're going to be talking about today it is the game changer um Let's talk about the routine. So for our hair growth challenge, we have three tiers, as I mentioned in the last video. It is the basal minimalist input routine, where you're still gonna see results. And then I put a ring on it, I'm committed, and then beast mode on. Like, seriously? Are you actually ready for these results? They're insane. Um, side note, I do have a video up on my channel where I did a more um, recent, um, where I did a more recent, oh, I'm gonna see if I can find it. See if I can find it, put it here somewhere. 
Anyway, are you ready for these results, sis? Are you? Okay, so a minimalist routine. Well, you are going to be taking care of your multivitamin and mineral complex. You want to get a slow release one if possible. Um, the multivitamins and minerals that you take one in the morning and one in the evening tend to be quite high quality. I recommend brands like Vitabiotics, Solgar. If any of you have used amazing vitamins that you'd like to list below, um, then that would be amazing um, if you could include them below. I'm going to list some in the description box for you to, te to check out. Now, what you may not know is that most people are actually deficient in vitamins or minerals. It is ridiculous. It's a lot to do with the agricultural practices, how our soil isn't as healthy as it used to be, how long it takes for the food to get from the farm to your plate and for you to actually eat it. Each passing hour, the nutrient content actually depreciates. So whilst you might be eating something that really would have been in the 1950s quite nutritious, now, because our practices are so intense, it might not be as nutritious. So even if you eat what you think is a balanced diet, you're probably missing out on some key nutrients. I have some information here which I think I found really, really interesting, and I thought that you might find it shocking. Did you know that 94.3% of the US population do not meet the daily requirements of vitamin D? 88% of them are missing out on vitamin E, 52% on magnesium, 44% are deficient in calcium, and 43% in vitamin A, not to mention zinc, which is also key and iron as well. Now, if you have an iron deficiency, your hair literally will start to break off. Unexplainably, your hair will start to thin and break off. You'll start freaking out, wondering what's wrong with you. You need iron, sis. Um, zinc and magnesium are also really, really critical to the enzymes that actually cause synthesis of the protein keratin, um, which is basically what your hair is. So it's really, really important that you make sure that you have a multivitamin and mineral. That is literally basic. Then what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking MSM once a day. Now, MSM, another disclaimer, make sure you're staying super hydrated or you will get headaches. You will get water retention and weight gain. You need to be on at least, at least two liters of water a day. And when we're talking about starting with doses, don't look at what the package says. Don't go for the max that the package has stated. Start really, really minuscule. What that does is it allows your body to adjust. It reduces your chances of having any kind of a reaction, any kind of, um, uh, you know, headaches and things like that. And it also allows you to keep increasing your dose, therefore increasing the length of time that the MSM has an impact on your body. So what I would recommend is that you start with an eighth of a teaspoon. Get a measuring spoon, sis. Don't be guessing because you think it's an eighth, but it might not be. So start with an eighth of a teaspoon. You do that every single day. So after 10 days have passed, you can go up to a quarter of a teaspoon. And then you can take it a step up to maybe half a teaspoon, but do that super cautiously, paying attention to how your body is responding. Make sure you research all the symptoms and the um, drawbacks of MSM before you get started on this journey yet. That's really, really important that you make that decision for yourself. But should you decide to go on it, this is a very good minimalist and intro standard. Okay, then next level up, ring on it, we committed, let's go. Okay, so the medium routine is going to be that you're going to be taking um, your multivitamin and your MSM, but you're gonna add to that vitamin C because guess what? Vitamin C actually increases your body absorption rate of MSM. It actually increases um, the synthesis of collagen, which is also key in this whole process of synthesizing hair. Um, so vitamin C is a really, really good nutrient to take. And in addition to that, you're going to be juicing three to four times a week. That is commitment. If you don't have a juicer, you can always go ahead and use a blender um, and try and use iron rich nutrient, um, dense greens and beets and carrots and cucumber. Um, in fact, 
Cucumber is actually super rich in silica, which is key for the hair. So cucumber is actually rich in potassium, silica, manganese, and sulfur. It's a really, really good source of sulfur. It is a great one to be including in your juices. Um, carrots, for example, are, are rich in vitamin C. They also have vitamin A. Fantastic, again, for your hair. I will be using carrots, cucumbers, apples, beets, and greens in my my juices and smoothies um, but to be honest i will be mostly juicing because i find that i tend to be able to increase the volume of fruit and veg that i'm able to have um, and again this will serve to really boost your nutrient levels and probably tackle issues with your health you didn't even know that you had somebody i know actually had pcos and she started taking smoothies morning and evening and her hair facial hair issues, her weight gain issues, her skin issues, her menstrual cycle issues were pretty much cured in like 40, 45 days. So you never know what you're experiencing because of nutrition. And if the pursuit of hair is going to heal underlying health conditions, then you know your girl is definitely here for that. That's the whole point of holistic hair care. Okay, so I've got notes here so I don't forget anything because my brain is like a sieve. I haven't actually slept the entire night. Um, so we have our juicing three to four times a week, our vitamin C, our MSM and our multivitamin. Listen, that is full on. That is commitment. That is quite something to keep up for 60 days. But if you are a an absolute sucker for punishment and you really want to get them gains, then let's talk beast mode. Let's talk the beast mode routine. A madness, this one is a madness. Okay, so what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be doing the same. You're gonna be taking your, your multivitamin, you're going to be doing your vitamin C, um, you're going to be juicing five to seven times a week. You are gonna be juicing five to seven times a week. And just in case you really wanted to give it that extra edge, then go ahead and get you some collagen, sis. Take that collagen. There are vegan options. There are um, animal-based options. What is my hair even doing? Um, there are animal-based um, options as well. Um, so that is basically going to be the gung-ho beast mode on routine remember that if you are sensitive to sulfur collagen can be what you use for the beginning to the end of this routine or if biotin works for you then go ahead and do that um, i'm going to be doing msm i'm going to be including collagen i'm going to be juicing five to seven times a week so i'm going to be doing the beast mode one also in the description box below there is going to be a link so that you can actually get a free calendar detailing not just the nutrient component but also detailing the hair regimen component because we do recommend that you pair this up with ayurvedic herbs specifically for this challenge we're actually going to be using henna um, and we recommend the curly proverbs um henna or the curly proverbs henna and aloe mask they have had fantastic reviews just a little side note this henna that is used in both these masks is actually triple filtered. Um, so it really is high quality stuff. Um, it's finely milled. This is, is the fenugreek one I used in my hair today, guys. Can you see the definition? Can you see it? Yeah exactly um those reviews are for a reason so um it won't be the henna that gets stuck in there because it is triple milled triple filtered and also it is body art quality henna so it releases that maximum loss and dye i got a comment from a customer called gloria and she was like girl what did you put in this henna because i think it's been blessed by the ancestors it is ridiculous 
ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna put her DM that she sent me, um, but we do get those a ton. So if you're interested, definitely check out the henna in the um, description box below. I hope you have found this to be useful. Um, if you have, please, please, please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. It is absolutely free to you and it really does support my channel, support my content. It's super encouraging for me as a creator. It allows YouTube to put this information into the path of more people who might be needing it um, and struggling with their hair growth and retention so without further ado head into the description box get your free calendar get your regimen and i will see you over in the facebook and the instagram for the live chats for the q a um so that everybody knows what they're doing before this challenge starts on the 16th if you're panicking because you don't have everything for the 16th don't worry, there is going to be a second start date on the 30th of April. Um, and you'll have all the more time just to get more knowledge and be familiar with the whole routine and see what's what. So don't panic, I've got you.